Will you be resigning today? That is a ridiculous question. I'm here today outside of Calgary City Hall at 7.30 in the morning. It's a bit early, but this is the time of day that working Canadians have to rally. They can't just uh, get off work whenever or crawl out of their mom's basement to rally whenever they want. Uh, they have to rally before the start of the business day, and that's why they're here at 7.30 in the morning. They're rallying against Mayor Nenshi uh, and his council's increased business taxes throughout the year. Uh, one business owner here said that their city taxes were raised over 45% in one year. It's absolute insanity what business owners are facing here in Calgary uh, and Calgary City Council is actually voting on a proposal to uh, give some uh, relief to taxpayers. Mayor Nenshi is the only one opposed to that plan this morning. I'm going to go in there and ask people what they think about Mayor Nenshi and if they think he should resign. What brings you to the rally today when Mayor Nenshi isn't? Well, uh, you know what we got to do? We got to do to save Calgary businesses and we have to be open for business. Well, I'm supporting businesses including small businesses and I've been saying that since I was elected 2013 that we have spending problem and I'm glad that others are see what I'm seeing right now including the mayor supporters on council they actually say that you got to do something and uh, it's, it's a trying time right now and we have to do everything we can I'm glad that today right now a lot of people show up and we need to you know, unfortunately that the mayor has stated on council before is that when I, ever since I was mayor, I focused on social infrastructure, but he never heard the term is that the best social program is called jobs. And who provide jobs? Small business. 95% of business in Calgary are small business. Could you tell me what brings you to the rally today? Uh, keeping businesses open. 100%. You know, we're at an absolute critical time to make sure that businesses stay open in this city. And, you know, like most people, we have kids. You know, right now, we've got to ensure people are working and, and their businesses are staying alive. Do you think Nancy should resign? Uh, I think so. And because uh, uh, he has failed, not only the small businesses, he's the leader no matter what. The good time, he get, he get uh, all the credit during the flood. At the bad, t bad time, he should take the fall too. I believe he should resign. Two of your fellow councillors just earlier today called for Nenshi's resignation. Do you join them? Well, I think it's certainly one of those things that is, it, it, it feels out there in the public like that's what they want, right? And, you know, certainly if you're the mayor, uh, leadership is key. Uh, this council has expected leadership that we haven't seen, and certainly the business community has expected it, and they haven't seen it either. Will you directly call for his resignation? I think some of my colleagues will on that, so we'll see what happens. You know, one of my concerns is obviously all of us feel that there's an overspending problem here at City Hall and throughout the city, but I really have a feeling that... Uh... My name is Christy Vieira. I own Summit School of Dance and Music, and we have been hit very hard over the last few years and actually have had to close one of our locations. Due, due to all of this. I'm an Inglewood resident and I'm here to support my neighbors who run businesses in my community and who are being hurt unfairly with the exorbitant taxes that have been imposed on small business. My business is Innova Spa in Inglewood and I'm here to voice my opinions uh, hopefully and to join the crowd to support all the other business owners and people who are appalled at what City Hall has done. And I mean, they've got some explaining that they have to do, and we want to see some results. I own a small business. I own Rick Rack Textiles. My property would face an assessment of over 170% increase, and so I have some outrageous operating costs to face. So I'm here to protest the way they're making decisions. We have a business on uh, 10th Avenue, and our uh, our income taxes have or our property taxes have increased with the CP Rail property tax that we have to pay on leased land and on the City of Calgary's property tax. You know, I'm optimistic that that City Council is finally getting the message that Calgary has a property tax crisis. Uh, I hope that they're going to listen to the message that comes out of, out of this rally today and that they then vote to uh, cut property taxes, but that's only the first step in fixing this problem. We need structural cost cutting to make our government cheaper. Do you think that Mayor Nenshi should resign? Uh, I think the mayor has shown a tremendous lack of leadership throughout this process. In fact, he's against the only viable plan still on the table to save Calgary businesses. And I think his council colleagues have lost confidence in him. I do believe that Mayor Nenshi should resign. Two of the more right-wing councillors today just called for Mayor Nenshi's removal and resignation. Do you join them? 
Uh, yes, I do. I think he's had a long run and it's time for some new blood. It's time for some new opinions, for some new procedures, because what we've seen now, it, it isn't working. Yeah, that's way past due. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Why? Because he's just not paying attention, he's not listening to Calgarians, and he's not listening to business owners, and he's destroying our city, and it's time for him to go. If I thought it did, a, did something right now, I would say yes, but I don't think that's the problem, necessarily. Shouldn't then she resign? Ooh, that's a hard question. I voted for him twice. What I can say to that is I'm unhappy. I've tried to contact him quite a few times to discuss the situation. No response. I think he should do his job and, you know, represent the people that voted him in and, and he shouldn't have to resign. He should just, he should listen to the, the people and, and do something about it because nothing, it feels like nothing's being done and other than lip service. The message here today is clear. Even city councillors are now calling for Mayor Nenshi's resignation. They're calling for city council as a whole to start taxing uh, and moving business taxes towards residential taxes. You know why they don't do that? It's because politicians don't have the balls to tax the people that are voting for them. They tax businesses instead, uh, which kind of offsets everyone's opinion on taxes, makes people think that taxes aren't as high as they are. Uh, but in reality, it hurts the city more than any other method of taxation. Morning. Morning, how are you? Good, thank you. Will you, be, will you be resigning today? That is a ridiculous question and I got to back the gavel. Thank you. Yeah, do, you so see the people, do you see the people rallying outside? And they're going to get do, a good answer today. Are, they? are you going to support the proposal? So I'm back in studio now and I'm in disbelief with how Mayor Nenshi responded to my question. The arrogance. He was offended that I even asked the question, should he resign? Given two of his council colleagues today called for his resignation, and those were just two that I talked to. Thousands of other Calgarians, I'm sure, agree it is time for Nenshi to go. But he's not going to go willingly because in Nenshi's mind, he's better than the everyday Calgarian. He's more important than folks like you and I. Sign my petition. Go to www.firenenshi.com. Sign it. Call for his resignation. Now, I'm sure he's not going to go willingly. You know who he is. You know his personality. But the petition doesn't stop there. It goes on to call for Alberta's Minister of Municipal Affairs, Casey Madu, to dismiss Mayor Nenshi using his authority given to him in the Municipal Government Act, Section 574-2, subsection H of the MGA, to dismiss Mayor Nenshi if he does not resign by the end of the week. Sign the petition, go to www.firenenshi.com. For the Rebel.media, I'm Kean Bexty. Hey, thanks for watching our coverage. Please go to firenenshi.com to call for Calgary's most arrogant mayor ever to resign. And if he doesn't, call for Jason Kenney and his cabinet to dismiss him themselves.